What is going on guys? This is Hassel Castle here, back for another video. Today we are going to have a double upload. <laughs> okay, so today we are doing a history video again. AP. So, um, we're going to make a timeline. Not really a timeline, a time video. Same thing. But we are going to. What is this? What is going on? This is not unprofessional. Oh, God dang it. But today we are going to. <laughs> today we are going to do a video on the right to vote in America and how it changed throughout the history of the United States of America. Makes sense, right? This one's going to be a difficult video since it is a very, very big topic. You know, right to vote in America wasn't there for everybody in the beginning. You know, white white men. Yeah. So we're going to be talking about amendments, specifically the Fifteenth Amendment, the Nineteenth Amendment, the Twenty Fourth, <laughs> the Twenty Fourth Amendment. <laughs> Do you know what's funnier than the 24th Amendment? 26. <laughs> Alright, the 26th <laughs> the 26th Amendment. I apologize. We are also we're gonna be talking about ways that they try to stop people from voting. Uh a couple of these ways were the literacy test. So, a doozy. The poll tax. Poll tax is multiple. Uh, two. More than two. More than two, y'all. Two. More than two. Plurals. And we're going to be talking about the, the grandfather clause. That's not good. No. And then finally, we're going to be talking about the Voting Rights Act of 1965. It's a. Uh, 52 years ago? Nope, nope, no. Eh. Yeah, 52. <laughs> Quick maths. <laughs> Alright, so let's start it off with the amendments. Let's start it with the, the 24th Amendment. Uh, I'm just joking. No, I'm just playing with y'all. Ah, don't click off. Uh, we're going to start with the 15th Amendment. The 15th Amendment started off in, it was ratified in 1870. This shortly came after the 14th and the 13th Amendments, which gave rights to African Americans. Whoa, that's the biggest amendment ever, if you didn't know. And this amendment basically gave the right to vote to every every US citizen that is a male every. as long as they are old enough to vote and are eligible to vote <laughs> uh, didn't matter their skin their 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 color their race religion place of origin grandparents they did Grand grandparents Decided everything if you didn't know <laughs> and Didn't work out so well that was in 1870. I mean it, it worked out well Didn't work out too well Um, uh, Amendment 19 Amendment 19 uh, nine, it, it was ratified in 1920 it's very recently, less than 100 years ago, 97 to be exact, and this basically gave the uh, gave the right to vote to women. Women can now vote, along with men. It doesn't matter their their race, their their color, their place of origin, their religion. Their grandparents did matter, though. 
And then we got the 24th Amendment, which actually prohibits all the restrictions on the right to vote for everybody. It got rid of poll taxes and literacy tests and anything else that was letting prohibiting people from voting into uh, federal elections. The states did not like people. And they liked people, but not those people. Because they gave tests and taxes. And then, well, Amendment 24 ratified in 1964. Just, just in case you, you want to know. Because you needed to know. And then we got Amendment 26, which was ratified in 1971. Excuse me. I apologize. Uh, Amendment 26, 1971. Uh, the 26th Amendment lowered the age of voting down to 18. 18 years old. Technically an adult now, since you can vote. 18 years old. Alright, so... Excuse me. I am... I am... I am so sorry. Excuse me. Okay, so now we will show videos of the 15th Amendment being made, the 24th Amendment being made. Those are the two amendments that we have pictures of. And we actually have the 19th Amendment. Yes, we do. We do. My so what, what was that? Huh? Huh? We got we got the we got the nineteenth, the uh, fifteenth, and the twenty fourth. Okay, guys, we got the nineteenth, twenty fifth, and the twenty fourth. Not the twenty fifth. What are you talking about? Fifteenth. Let's get it. Okay, guys, welcome back. This is House of Castle. Just in case you forgot, please buy my merch and subscribe. Like the video. Uh, and now we will go on to the topics of the restrictions and what they did with them. Uh, so, in the 1960s, eight, 1960s, what am I on about? In the 1860s and onward, until it was illegal, we had the literacy tests. Now, states did these. Not, they weren't federal. They were state-level tests that prohibited people who did not know how to do them, mainly the African-Americans and the non-whites who were not educated, stopped them from being able to vote in federal elections and everything else federal. And this is because they didn't want them to vote in the first place, so... They tried to find a way that was legal to make them stop voting, and this was legal, making a test that was kind of difficult for non-educated people. Then we got the poll tax. The poll tax, it started out in 1889, that's, that's where most people say it started. And then it went on to until it was illegal, illegal later. And the poll tax basically gave it gave taxes to people who wanted to vote. And it was hard for people to pay because they didn't know how to get money. Well, they knew how to get money, but they didn't have it. Knowledge. That's how you get money. But they didn't have it because they couldn't pass the literacy test and if they did they didn't have the money to pay the tax uh the poll tax it was just a tax that you had to pay to vote in federal elections it was basically the literacy test but you didn't have to take a test you just had to pay 
with hard cash. Okay, so it, it's difficult for poor people to pay, surprisingly. What? I know, y'all thinking like, what? Everybody should have been paying for that. No, I'm from. <laughs> you want? Yeah. I ain't got a single dollar bill. I ain't paying no poll tax. I ain't voting. If I was 18, no, if I was whatever age, 21, 16, something like that, I wouldn't be able to vote. Because I ain't got the money. Oh, my, my grandfather could vote, but... My grandfather couldn't vote. I wouldn't be able to take any part in the election because I ain't got the money. I'm white. Um, the grandfather clause. Let's let's talk about that. Get rid of the other topic. Um, if your grandfather couldn't vote, you couldn't vote. That's basically what it was. And since no African American vo could vote, no grandparents could vote, no grandfathers could vote. So then, two years later, that child couldn't vote because the grandfather couldn't vote and then four years later that child can't vote because their grandfather couldn't vote because their grandfather couldn't vote and it's just whoo, straight bam, right down because nobody could vote that's the problem yeah, yeah. It's just, uh, yeah. Ah. what can I say about this I mean it was in 1898 until it's illegal, you know. <laughs> it's not a funny topic, you know. I, I apologize. I, I'm sincerely sorry for all the grandfathers out there who could not vote and couldn't let their grandchildren vote. And then, after all that, we get right down to the Voting Rights Act of 1965, the great old 1965. This guess, guess when this was done. Guess. Write it in the comments. Write it in the comments. Everybody, just, uh, uh, calm down. Everybody, everybody. Er, er, mm, you, yes you, calm down. Write it in the comments. Excuse me. One second. You. I apologize. That was. You're talking, you're dead. You can't hear from me. That guy is still alive. Okay. Alright, so the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Well, the answer was 1965, if you didn't know. Surprising. Okay, so this. <laughs> this basically just get, got rid of everything that prohibited people from voting That's basically what it was just canceled it all out it's like if somebody had taxes and tests in school and then the principal would just wham with a baseball bat right into them and then they're gone and then everybody's free and but like, Gucci game I apologize um so it's basically what the Voting Rights Act was. It got rid of the restrictions and all that. So apparently we have inside detail of the discussion with a man and his grandfather and the person taking the votes at the federal election. We have that right here. Uh, oh, wait. Hold up. Huh? Right now? We got it right now. We got it right now, y'all. It's right now. It's right here right now. Okay, roll it. Hey, I can't vote. Why can't I vote? Ah. Your grandfather couldn't vote. I couldn't vote.
Alright, welcome back, y'all. This is Hassle Castle here. And that was basically it. That was it. You know? That's what happened with the uh, right to vote in America. That's how it got from the bottom right to the top. But it's not coming down. It ain't ever coming down. It's never coming down because America's the best country in the world. We can vote. Alright, so that was basically it. Thank you all for watching.